Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed Shaltout. Today we are going to explain how to make a resetting password in Laravel. We are using Laravel 9 and in this project we have a series of videos uh, explaining a lot of things. Uh, we have made a registration and login controller and email verification. Uh, this tutorial is completely our sooner to the email verification uh, uh, tutorial so what we will need to do we need to, to make a notification email we, we will send it to the user and we are going to create a request form controller uh, or classes for uh, validation and controller one control for forget password and another one for uh, the resetting password plus route and testing we are using uh, the package uh, Laravel OTB, uh, htrojan slash Laravel OTB, if I say it right. Um, we have used it in email verification video. Uh, as you can see, it's simple and easy. You just follow the installation steps and uh, it will work uh, in Java. So, uh, so let's uh, create our uh, control uh, the email notification. So we have PHP artisan make notification, uh, whose uh, password notification uh, verification notification. Um, we have a long name, but to be clarifying or to clarify uh, what this file for or the class for. Um, so this is the as a class for sending the notification email. It's similar to the email verification notification. So we will take uh, or we'll use OTB of course. This is the class, this is the class of the package um, one time password. <coughs> then we'll copy the properties. Here and same constructor, and I will change the message or the, the values of the um, variables. Here will be usable code for setting your password. This is the message, and subject will be uh, re password resetting. From email, this is rahmatchatu.com. This is the email, and the mailer will be SMTP. This is the email uh, we are we have in, in a lot of application. Uh, we can find in, in config mail.php. You can add another email here, but for now we are using the first one. So this is uh, <coughs> so here we are using the email. Now, let's remove this uh, Laravel. This is default by Laravel. So we need to remove it and create uh, a new one. So this is completely so similar to the email verification. So you can copy it. <coughs> here the mailer is MTB on subject, this subject here. And the greeting will be hello. Uh, notifiable variable here uh, hold all the data for the user model. So uh, will be the first name. And line the message here. This message and the code. <coughs> and of course we need to generate a, an OTB. Here as you can see this is the OTB. Um, OTB generate and the identifier will be notable email and uh, maximum digit will be six and uh, it's uh, expired after an hour. <coughs> so the next st step we need to create controllers. Uh, the first controller will be for for get password sending for sending the email and the second one for uh, the resetting process. 
So let's create it PHP artisan make controller and an OS folder OS. So forget password controller. Here. And second one will be a password reset. Will be reset password control. So they are here in OS folder. The first one and second one. Now we need to create a uh, request form for validate uh, our data that we will, will uh, receive. So let's create first one which we are make request. Oath. In the Oath folder. Forget password request and let's create another one for resetting password as you can see uh, request uh, reset password request and for forget password uh, the authorize will be true then we will receive only the email so let's validate our email and let's make it make the rule. So email will be required. Type email, as you can see, and it must be existed in uh, users table. So existes user table. So this is the forget password validation rule. A second one for resetting, we'll do here the same for the right. <coughs> so we'll receive uh, email and uh, OTD and IAM password. So let's create the first rule for the email. This is for resetting process. So the same thing. Then change it and the OTB will be required and a maximum of six digits or six characters. Actually, you can remove uh, this rule if you don't, if you don't, if you want, no problem. And password will be required a string minimum. Uh, of six characters. So uh, that's all for now. We just made the rules for validation, um, and the, the next step creating the functions for uh, sending the email and uh, setting the password. So let's do this. Here for forget password. I just called the classes we need here uh, for forget password request, as you can see. Uh, the first one, HTTP uh, request, app HTTP request books, and the second one for is an email uh, for sending the notification for one time password and uh, the user model. And also, I have created the forget password function here. And it takes the forget password request for validation. Now, so let's take the, the first bot uh, from the request. It will be a request only email.
this is the first thing and um, let's uh, find this user so user where email will be in both first to get the first user with that email um, so we can send the notification for him or her they table so user notify new reset password uh, verification success yeah if it's success to so send uh, it would be true to return to return to true if it's success so here return response <coughs> on success and 200 so this is uh, for, for sending the forget password uh, email with one time password as you can see so let's uh, make the resetting password controller Uh, so now uh, we need to call the same, cl uh, same class, not, not the same class actually, as a reset password uh, request and the user model and the OTB and hash for hashing our password. So no one can see it in the database. So let's create our function. Or not the function. Let's uh, create an instance from OTB. So let's create the public uh, the constructor constructor public function construct this OTB equal new OTB. Now, this public function password resetting reset. Yeah, and it will take uh, it will take uh, reset password request. So the first thing we need to validate uh, the OTB. So this OTB validate, and it will take an uh, identifier. It will be uh, email and the OTB one time password. If the status uh, of the validation uh, false, return error, an error. That's what we are doing right now. So respond JSON error and uh, return the OTP too. Uh, then if the, the status is true, so user get the user data by email, as you can see, user where email, and let's update, user update, password, and hashing 
password hash make request password <coughs> request password Let's delete all the tokens of the user. So user will need to to log in once more time, one more time after uh, uh, setting the password. Of course, you can do do it as you want. Uh, you don't have to follow my steps here. So and finally, let's uh, return the true. So return response this on success true two hundred. Stats to hundred. So the first thing we validate the email. As you can see, if uh, there is an error, return an error. If it's true, just update the user password and delete all the tokens and return success true. <coughs> So this is the route for uh, for our function. The first uh, we we called the two classes, forget password and reset password. And here we created our post routes. The the two routes would be uh, post methods. Here, uh, password to forget and. We call the function forget password from the controller forget password controller, <coughs> and uh, uh, here for password reset, we did the same thing. So now we need to test it on Postman. So this Postman. So I have created an account with this email and I made the password from 1 to 8. So this is the route for forget password and I sent an email. Of course I have done a test before. Okay, for, for better user experience we should queue uh, the emails. First we are going to make a tutorial about that. So here is the email. Hello Ahmed, uh, and the message, and this is a code. So let's reset our password. And the body, here this is the email. Let's change it. And the password will be from one to six. No, or let's, let's try to make uh, to test our the error. Okay. Let's uh, make the OTB wrong. Now, okay. So let's reset our password. It's true. Let's log in and authorize it. Let's make it from one to six. Yep. Mm. for sending the log, you just logged in email. Yep, we just log. Yeah, and this is a new login, logged in email notification. So that's all for now. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye bye.